Hey, what's up, guys? I am chilling in Canada, wearing green and brown at the same time, uh, because I thought it would look good. And I am sitting here all cozy, and I thought I would make a list of uh, channels that I watch, tutorial channels that I watch, and uh, I thought I would just compile them and make a video about it. And I started making the list, and the list is very long, so this might have to be done in two parts, and I thought it'd be interesting for uh, other people. So this is in no particular order, and the list is going to be in the comments if you want to check it out. I'm going to be explaining like kind of what these channels are all about going through it and their impact on me. So I said this is in no particular order, uh, but I kind of lied. Um, the first one is probably the most important one, and that is uh, the channel... Um, by uh, Andy Vax. Now, Andy Vax made a uh, a video, a, a long video back in the day before there was any videos, right? So imagine that. Like he was basically the first guy to use Camtasia and all that, and like put this thing together. And it was uh, called uh, uh, Mixing Secrets. Andy Vax Mixing Secrets. Look that up right now and watch it. It's amazing. And uh, it was the first such occasion where I could see kind of what was happening. He explained things like frequency uh, masking, um, you know, the, like why to EQ, he showed like Cambridge EQ, um, extreme cut, like all these different um, things. And I was like, wow, this is, this is amazing. Because before I was just kind of trying to figure it out reading forums and it wasn't that descriptive. And I guess I realized I'm a visual learner and like watching him um, do these things really opened my eyes. Uh, and uh, yeah, this channel would not exist without him. Um, and yeah, he inspired me to uh, make videos myself. Um, he is uh, he is also a pro in audio. Like he really knows what he's doing. Um, his videos are not in English, uh, but you can still watch them on YouTube. You can um, auto translate. Um, to English or your language of choice, and you can you can still follow along. It's actually it's 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 basically you get used to it. You can follow along, and um, uh, and the terminology he'll say in English. So you can it's really easy to 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 to, uh, to follow along and things like that. And he does really good uh, quality videos. So Andy Vax can't recommend him enough. Can't thank him enough. Uh, really cool. Second uh, channel on the list here is uh, on cloud sign. Uh, I really like the format of this uh, the, of these videos. Um, he does the uh, the RTFM manual. Uh, read the effing manual. Um, you can, you know, and, and it's a term online. It's like when someone asks, "How do you do this?" It's like read the F, read the effing manual. Uh, the tutorials are very concise, and uh, yeah, they're just really. You know, for someone, you know, I, I, I know the majority of, um, of what's going on, but the, the format that he has is uh, really good. And you can just binge watch his videos and, you know, it's, it's really well uh, put together and uh, highly recommended for uh, people kind of uh, starting out. And uh, it's uh, Ableton-centric, uh, but you can also, there's also like Serum and, uh, you know, the usual suspects um, that the beginner might want to be looking into. So on cloud sign can't recommend enough uh julian earl uh this is the third one and um i've been on kind of a techno kick lately uh no pun intended or pun intended whatever you want and uh yeah his tutorials are very uh techno centric um uh, and he's very active uh lots of videos um lots of streams and for those uh that are interested he does um feedback streams uh, he's one of the um one of the tutorial people that does uh, uh, feedback streams, so check that channel out as well. Especially if you're into uh, techno and stuff like that, he also plays a, a little snippet at the beginning, so you know what, uh, so you know, so you know what you're getting into. Another channel that I uh, really enjoy is uh, White Sea Studio, and uh, he does. He's a uh, uh, it's mixer uh, centric, and he does critical reviews of. Uh, plugins. Um, he, he has a lot of analog uh, uh, hardware, but he does lots of reviews on uh, 
the software, um, and he, he explores um, lots of aspects of it. Um, I really enjoy his uh, Dutch humor. Um, I find it, <laughs> I find it to be fascinating. Um, uh, they say that the Dutch tend to go a little far with their humor, but I, don't know, I really enjoy it. And uh, I also enjoy uh, mayonnaise on my fries and living below sea level. So yeah, check out uh, White Sea Studio. And uh, yeah, and if, and if you need to like ID the track that he's playing, it's always Darude Sandstorm. Another one, uh, Julian Gray Media. Uh, more of a, a variety um, channel as well. Um, also signed to Mousetrap, so it's a signed artist to Mousetrap. So it's, it's you know you can see, the I get I guess there's like a a level of clout or whatever I don't know the word to use, but um, yeah it's uh, it's really interesting to have like uh, IRL artists have a YouTube channel that uh, does tutorials. He does uh, project breaks down uh, breakdowns of his projects, and he um, he also does uh, fix your project streams and things like that. And um, I, I'm assuming he's going to be uh, more active now. He's, he's fixing his computer or he's getting a new mat. I don't know what he's doing. Um, but yeah, he's going to be uh, more active, says Julian Gray. Media. Uh, I don't know what number we are, but uh, yeah, this one. Um, Courtney uh, Hawkins. Um, she uh, does a lot of really cool... I, I, like, I like all sorts of music and I like all sorts of workflows. And uh, it, this this channel is uh, beat making uh, centric, and uh, the chill vibes of the uh, music being made, and a uh, workflow that's different to mine. Like I really like watching different workflows. Um, uh, she does like machine, like the whole Native Instruments thing. She does uh, that thing, and uh, you know she she knows how to play the piano and stuff like that, which I don't know how to do. And yeah, she makes uh, she makes beats within Machine, which is a completely uh, different workflow than mine. And it's good to kind of do that because it, you know, it gets the brain going and you're just like, oh, how do I apply that to what I do? Things like that. Um, really cool channel. Um, and, uh, yeah. Uh, Zen World. Um, I really enjoy uh, Zen World um, because it's, uh, it's EDM-centric. Um, and it's, uh, it, it showcases current and contemporary techniques. Uh, and, uh, yeah, like, just really cool, like, modern stuff. He's, he's kind of always on the, uh, the forefront, uh, the, the bleeding edge of, like, kind of what's going on right now, and he does videos on that, and I find that to be, uh, really cool. Um, uh, lots of humor in that, uh, channel as well. I don't know, I like humor. There's a trend here. I like, I like people to be kind of funny. We don't have to be all, like, serious and stuff like that. Um, and, uh, yeah, Zen World, really cool guy, enjoy his videos. Um, next up is, uh, Reed Stefan, and it, uh, it's, uh, the guy with the puppet. Um, the realest puppet in the game, um, focuses on, uh, beat making. Uh, I like all sorts of different music, I think I've already said that. And, uh, it's chill music. And he does a lot of stuff with, like, vocal processing and, uh, processing of, uh, uh, beat-centric music. Um, well, chill as per my standards of what I make. And, uh, yeah, I always learn something new. There's always, like, a new thing going on. Um, and I'm just like, oh, yeah, that's cool. And, uh, yeah, really, really enjoy watching his videos. Um, yeah, with, like, you know, the puppet, you know, getting lit. And, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, the uh, sea creatures in the background. And, you know, usually there's a cat. And, uh, yeah, just really, really good, like, aesthetically pleasing videos. I like it. Uh, and uh, last um, but not not least, um, there's there's a lot more to this list, um, but uh, Ethan Weiner. So Ethan Weiner, um, when I started, uh, he was, he really opened my eyes and kind of explained uh, the concept of acoustic treatment, treating the room and things like that. He also uh, busts audio myths, um, and he's currently debating with a guy who just sells woo. It's really interesting. He has 50 years in the industry, and uh, yeah, he's just, uh, he's very intelligent, and he he, he knows what he's doing. He, he um, explained uh, the null test and measuring audio devices and 
things like that. Really interesting, um, and it's always it's always good to include a uh, a veteran um, in uh, in in any list, I guess. Um, and uh, yeah, if you want to check out his channel, there's a uh, you can look back and you can see like how to how to, he explains like how to measure a room and uh like with the pink noise test and stuff like that and he did that like years ago and uh he's very active on uh forums and he helps people and uh yeah he he built like a really badass studio I'm not studio studio as well and uh theater and I guess he likes to watch um uh, concerts on DVD, and he wants like the best sound possible and things like that. So that is uh, that is list number one. Um, if if you enjoy, I can uh, I can make more. Uh, there's there's a long list here of uh, of a lot of people. So um, I hope you enjoyed that video. And uh, in the comments there is uh, links to everything. And uh, yeah, you can check that out. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you'll learn stuff. And uh, take care and have a good one.